Welcome back to Content Daily Entertainment, hosted by none other, your favorite Caucasian, me, your boy JG, where we spit straight facts, no clickbait, so you keep coming back. Him holding the dang AK or AR, whatever that is, a gun in general. It don't matter if it was a regular handgun. He's not supposed to do that. He can't do that. I mean, he can, but not in the eyes of the law. That picture right there was brought up in court. So they literally used that to deny his bond. So stupid, man. Like, use your hand, man. You, you want probation or parole or whatever. You want some type of papers that you can't be around that. You know? NBA Young Boys got all these lawyers that are coming at every angle trying to get him out. Oh, that was a unlawful search or this or that. He's on probation or parole. He's on papers. He threw away them rights. He has no rights to not be searched. They can search him at any point they want without a, without a warrant. Hey, Lexi, come on. Hey. <whistles> Lexi, hey. Hold on. Hey, get on this side of the road. Come on. Yeah. So now they appealed... They appealed him, appealed the judge to try to get him out and bail him out before his actual court date. So that way he could be free working on music. You know, his his legal team even promised 24 hour supervision, ankle monitor, being at home, you know, like 24 hour surveillance, like saying that there's no way he could do anything if they did let him out, he just needs to be out so he could work, make money. One of the stipulations was even that he would stay signed with Atlantic Records. I don't even get why that was even a factor that was even played in that, but I don't know. Heard some other people from his camp offering to pay money cash to. I like the TI situation. Whenever he went, they bombarded him with all them charges you know he ended up paying like two point something million in, in cash and you know a lot of a lot of money in the states you know gave to the government just to get him out but um nah it's not looking good for young boy young boy's gonna do some time I hate people thinking he's not he is He's doing it like they trying to act like that sting wasn't like to catch him wasn't what's the word basically legit trust me they had us that's that operation was called never free again they had their ducks in a row they knew what they was doing even if they did some stuff that was illegal the cops knew what they was doing to get him jammed up I'm not, I don't want a young boy in jail, you know, so don't take this as that. I'm just being real with you. He's going, he's going to do some, a little stint. I ain't, I mean, uh, he may do a long stint. He's doing some type of stint, though. That's why they ain't letting him out. Hell, his court date might be, not be till next year. That alone is a little stint itself. But, I'm going to post a picture again at the end. Just so y'all can see it again and maybe this is a maybe upcoming rappers will learn a lesson off this this is like rolling loud i hope y'all rappers learn the lesson off that too that ain't nothing but an fbi setup that's just 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 a big old gathering where the cops ain't even gotta go nowhere to pop all these artists. They literally can just pull up and just be like, go car to car, whoop, 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 whoop. Set up. 
I mean, yeah, the, the artists probably still made money and all that, so it's worth it to the ones that didn't get in trouble. But the ones that did get caught up, you gotta move smart, man. You can't come to some situation like that. Miami, the rappers need to stay the hell out of Miami. Miami just, they just cracking down on them. Like, they using Miami. <clears throat> they using Miami, for real. They using Miami to pop all these artists. Cause it's, Miami's the new Atlanta, you know what I mean? But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Love y'all. Peace out.